serious about losing weight and getting fit? Why not put yourself in the capable hands of the one and only weight loss centre in Pattaya that uses both CrossFit and cardio martial arts? Let us plan a fitness program that focuses on your individual needs. Or create a program with a broad set of martial arts experiences. Visit combatgroup.com and start training alongside champions. Take advantage of our special monthly promotion for only 200 baht per session. Combat Group, your one stop for fitness, weight loss and martial arts. Bubble Spa Patio, promising affordable relaxation in your own home anytime you choose. Located on Teprasit Road, opposite the Outlet Mall. Coming up next, Patio Mail, taking you on a road trip. Guten Tag. Здравствуйте. สวัสดีค่ะ. 
With Easy ABC, you can quickly learn German, English, Russian or Thai in either our group or individual courses. We'll have you speaking Thai after only two months. Why not see for yourself with our free trial lesson? Google Easy ABC Patia. Easy ABC, your language school in South Patia and Naglua. Welcome to Easy ABC. There, Jeff Carter here, and uh, I'm looking a bit bog eyed, aren't I? That's because it's only half past six, 6 30 a.m., and today I decided to come up to Pratamnak, that's in between Pattaya and John TM, and I've come up to Buddha Hill. This sign here says, Wat Pra Yai, that means temple, the largest Buddha image of Chomburi. Okay. So, and that's up there. I'm sure you can see him from here. There you go. Well, it looks like I've got to climb all these stairs now. Is that the stairway to heaven? I don't know. Let's go. There's a lot to climb, so let's make a move. And there he is. The big Buddha. Hey, it's good up here, you know, if you get up early, because if you come later on, there'll be lots of people here, and it's better for taking photographs and videos and things. There's only me and these three dogs up here at the moment. Great, isn't it? And if you come over this side, you can see all over John TM and the beach. Look at that. Fantastic. So there we have the little tour at the top of Pratamnak, Buddha Hill. That was good, wasn't it? I'm going to go back down now. I'm going to get a little drink and then uh, make my way back. Hope you enjoyed this little movie. If you want to get here, you just jump in a bat bus or um, ask for a taxi driver to bring you up here. But it's all good stuff. And uh, I think it's best to get here early in the morning or at sunset. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit. Bye bye. Police report the deaths of three people and injury to dozens more from a bomb planted at a market in the southern city of Yala. A non-tourist location, Yala has long seen troubles as one of three provinces in the south where religiously motivated insurgents have been active. This time a bomb was hidden in a parked motorcycle left at the market which destroyed much of the retail area. Reports that a Frenchman and his Thai partner had been nabbed at a land border appear to be incorrect as the search continues for 33-year-old Amuri Rigaud. 
Sought in connection with a dead Italian, locals claim there was a love triangle between the dead Italian, the Frenchman and a woman in the village, all living in the same rural area. And with the body now formally identified as the Italian, it's now a murder hunt. Amongst items recovered from their home is a note from the dead man reading, You told me you loved me only because you wanted money. Two Israeli gangster types who were arrested after running over a fellow countryman twice before stabbing him to death have, according to police, admitted their crimes. It seems that the dead man had previously tried to kill them in their home country and been jailed for that before fleeing here, only for them to pursue him for revenge. A Thai-owned national media group is said to have taken over Thailand's second largest English language newspaper, The Nation after reports that it faced increasing financial difficulties. Falling reader numbers had blighted the nation in recent years, and the new potential owner is quoted as saying that he will save it. However, it's likely to see a huge restructuring and the resetting of goals. This as other linked groups cut back on overheads too in a bid to stay afloat. Bottoms were up in the north of Thailand yesterday after a local man was thought to be carrying drugs, searched and nothing found. That until local police double-checked his derriere. Firmly planted between his cheeks, they discovered 200 meth pills, amazingly intended for resale to less than choosy users. The police photos are, to say the least, entertaining. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, a Chinese swimmer has claimed that he was robbed of 185,000 bahts worth of gold that for some reason he chose to wear around his neck while eating street food. CCTV is being checked by police, but the warning continues. Why wear heavy gold jewelry out and about in the city? It's pretty much like a magnet to petty thieves, and most locals have long learned that lesson. Fabulous TV, Padia, has released a trailer to their full video of the weekend's boxing events in the city. That's on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash fabulous 103. By week's end, we'll have a full footage of the fights, and Frank Bruno's appearances, together with hundreds of still photographs too. Why not check those out, as you may be in one of those pictures. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 30, dropping down to around 20, continuing with fog, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. First every day on TV and radio with English language news, and keeping you in touch with Thailand along with Pattaya, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, this is Joe Parsons at the BBC. Swansea City caused a huge upset in the Monday night match in the English Premier League, beating Liverpool 1-0 thanks to a first-half goal from Alfie Mawson. Watching for the BBC was the former Wales international, John Hartson. They've dug in, they've been together, they've been gritty, they've made it difficult. Yes, Liverpool have had numerous of opportunities, not been able to take them. How Firmino misses that header from five or six yards out. That's that little bit of luck that Swansea needed and got this evening. Take nothing away from Liverpool's efforts and desire and endeavour. But Swansea City, for me, got the goal and they held on for dear life. After weeks of painfully slow progress, Alexis Sanchez is finally a Manchester United player, with Henrik Mkhitaryan moving to Arsenal in a straight swap. The BBC's Simon Stone's been looking at how Sanchez will fit into the United team. If we work on the basis that Manchester United like to play a main striker, Romelu Lukaku, up front and then three players behind, you would assume that Sanchez will be one of those. Uh, and then it, it, it's kind of two from three of Rashford, of Martial and uh, of Juan Mata and it, it could be any one of those who who steps down I, I suggest that uh, Sanchez if he plays anything like uh, to the levels it has done at Arsenal will keep his place the others have all been a bit up and down and really they've got to step up but that is what Jose Mourinho wants and that is what Manchester United need if they are going to challenge Manchester City for major honours over the coming years. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Coming up next, fabulous food.
If that made you feel hungry, wait until tomorrow's episode of Fabulous Food. Coming up next on Fabulous TV Patia. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more. And more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar with 50 TVs, including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide. It is 20 minutes to 12 o'clock, which means for Monday morning, it is time for... You kn- oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just got a bit You're excited. You're preemptive there, aren't you? <laughs> Just excited, sorry. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, is that it? No, I was just testing you see if you're going to jump again. <laughs> Which means it is time this morning for Universally Challenged. <laughs> and our regular guests are very excited to be back on a Monday. Mm. Uh, representing the Golden Mile without a smile is Megan the Midget. Good morning. Good morning. And Darkside Denny, good morning. Morning, Tom. Three contestants, because you as the listener are the one who's probably going to get it right this morning. As I give you the cryptic clue to our featured artist, who shall remain anonymous until somebody solves this, putting on the Megan glasses. <laughs> uh, Megan, what is your buzzer going to be today? Fab. Oh. Okay. Denny, what's yours going to be? I love Megan's mum. <laughs> He's been forced to say that. I have. Jeez. Honestly. I got yes, black mum forced yes. him. It was like watching two rashes <laughs> at the weekend. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, we have our clues this morning, and um, you know that her husband is a top Muay Thai yeah. so just, just, <laughs> Watch out, Den Den. Just, just so you know. Not, not Let me put you... another word in there that I don't like making yeah. fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, mate. Okay. What's, uh, so, we got your buzzers. Fingers on the buzzers. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. The cryptic clue to our featured artist today is... Anyone want to close their eyes? Yeah, Megan's got her eyelashes closed. <laughs> okay. Helps you think a little bit better, doesn't it? Freddie Mercury's little boy, perhaps. I thought this was so easy. (laughs) Fab. Megan the Midget. Prince. Yes! Ah! (laughs) I thought neither of them were going to get it. That's terrible. Freddie Mercury of Queens, little boy, perhaps. Prince. Our listeners got it right first, I'm sure. <sighs> Two songs back to back. You got the look, and when doves cry, right here on 103. Coming up next, Fit and Fabulous, your daily one-minute workout. People often worry about how much food they should be eating when the real worry is what is the quality of the food I'm eating. You've seen part one where we talked about macronutrients. Now we're going to look into talking about micronutrients, which are just as important, if not even more important. Micronutrients are things like antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that the body requires, but in smaller doses. While nutrient-rich foods contain many of these in abundance, and the term superfoods are quite often used to describe them. What makes a food considered nutrient dense is that it contains a great amount of vitamins or antioxidants in it in relation to its calorie content. For example, French fries contain very little healthy nutrients and are nearly vitamin and nutrient free, yet are very high in calories from non-useful fats and starches. While something like blueberries, however, contain fewer calories and high amounts of vital nutrients and vitamins that the body finds highly useful. 
There are many ways to get high nutrients, low calorie foods into your diet. Colorful salads, homemade fruit yogurts, no sugar added smoothies, and making sure to get in a plenty of raw or lightly steamed vegetables. Also, eating things like kefir, sauerkraut, seaweeds, fresh berries, kimchi, and green juices can help you get some great low calorie, high nutrient foods. So next time, instead of asking yourself, how much food should I be eating? Ask yourself, what's the quality of food that I should be eating? And until next time, stay healthy and stay happy. Coming up next, find out what's happening in the city before it happens. So you can be there, not just read about it afterwards. We are Bubble Spa Patio, promising affordable relaxation in your own home anytime you choose. Located on Tepresit Road, opposite the Outlet Mall. Every Sunday at the Havana Bar and Terrazzo Restaurant, enjoy a buy one, get one free promotion on all pizzas between 12 midday and 8 o'clock in the evening. And don't forget your dancing shoes, as every Sunday evening is the popular Latin dancing night. Learn some new moves with complimentary dance lessons before the party and enjoy the Latin tunes by a live DJ. The dancing itself starts at 8.30 at the Havana Bar at Holiday Inn. 2018 sees the return of the popular Naglua Walking Street Market all the way down to Long Bridge. You can enjoy live shows, cultural displays and different cuisines from all regions of Thailand. That takes place every Saturday and Sunday until late February. Every Sunday out at Bangsaray Beach Club, indulge in a delicious Sunday roast while admiring the beautiful views of Bangsaray Bay. On the beachfront at the Bangsaray Beach Club, you can enjoy this meal for just 350 baht per plate, and desserts start at 75. Available every Sunday, kicking off at 1. Earth Hour Evening at the Sala Rim Nam Restaurant promises whining and dining your evening away under the stars with a candle-lit Earth Hour dinner. Indulge in a Thai traditional feast in romantic and relaxing surroundings out by the Lotus Ponds at Sala Rim Nam, which is located at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. That's every Monday evening from 7 until 10 in the evening. If you're looking for the least expensive lunch in the city, why not check out the Mediterranean Garden Resort at Lake Maprachan? With pizzas from only 99 baht, Thai food from 79 baht, and puddings starting at 19 baht. They're available every day from 12 noon until 3 o'clock. And the Mediterranean Garden Resort is in the village of Pong. Head over to the East Coast Kitchen Restaurant at the Holiday Inn Patia Hotel and treat yourself to a seafood barbecue buffet feast. Priced at only 999 baht, net per person, and children under the age of 12, well, they eat for free. The buffet takes place between 6 and 10 every Thursday, Friday and Saturday evening, and they recommend advanced reservations. At some point in life, you really fancy being pampered, and a great place to be pampered is the Moven Pixie Am Hotel. The Sunset Thai Massage is daily from 5 till 7 at the Wave Spa, that's out at the beachfront where you can lay down, relax and unwind for an hour of deep massage, priced at 1,200 baht per person. It's a good idea to book ahead. Kick off your weekend in style with magnificent 360 degree panoramic views of the sun setting over the bay, whilst listening to the hottest beats by a live DJ. Every Friday and Saturday evening you can join us at the rooftop terrace in Holiday Inn Patia Hotel. And you can also enjoy a special buy one, get one free on all beverages. On every second Saturday of the month, enjoy a fun-filled day for the whole family at the Havana Bar at the Holiday Inn Patia. That's when they hold their farmer's market. Enjoy tasting, buying and sharing wholesome food products, beauty products and of course handmade arts and crafts. Why not take along your towel and have a dip in the pool? Entrance is completely free. The next one's coming up on Saturday from 10.30 in the morning.
Thank you.